Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our Horizon Forbidden West playthrough. In the last episode, we watched the embassy between the Karja and the Tanakh get spoiled by Regala in an all-out battle. In spite of that, we kept on exploring, and now we are headed to an unidentified signal, which may be helping us stop Hades. Let's go and head right in. Uh, this game has been absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. My only concern, my only problem with the game is that the audio is a little fucked up. Like, the dialogue audio is way lower than the rest. Um, and the other is that I'm, I'm really pissed that they decided to release this game in a week before Elden Ring. Like, it's kind of dumb. Like, I, I would have gladly played this game over the course of, like, the next like two weeks and instead I feel like you know you almost have to like rush the game if you have any plans to play Elden Ring but what will probably happen is like I'll probably end up beating like the main storyline and then probably come back and like play it a little bit here and there you know to 100% it it's such a fantastic game that like I feel like a lot of people are going to end up running through it instead of like Really taking their time with the title. All right. On to the next mission, boys. This should be the next story mission. And by the way, we're Looks level like 13. We are well ahead. Wreckage. Did he install Hades in another Titan? Oh my god. This thing is huge. This thing is massive. Hey, boy. Consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. you need a reminder that you have failed. So you see, Aloy, Gaia can be safely rebooted. As for where to find a backup, well, you oh. have to trot along after me to find out. Why are you... He's got it all figured out. What is wrong Master, with Silas? There's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. So Silent is such an interesting character. Like he's so seemingly enamored with um looks like Silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to How would how would I put it? He he seems so drunk with wanting to know things that I don't know what motivates him is is probably the best way to put it. I just kind of refuse to believe that his main motivator is, I don't know, this, this yearning to know. Honestly, oh man, that's a that's a pretty good setup. Ruin. Okay. Let's see where this goes. I guess Silence used that machine to haul his prop. That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. And that door. It looks like a Pharaoh facility. What is this? Or Zero Dawn. <laughs>
Hades? Is that you? System threat detected. You don't look so good. You are the Aloy. Come to destroy me? Yes. Permanently this time. Even like this, you're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So you have not yet secured Gaia back up. <sighs> then Gaia is dead. Earth and you too. Despite malfunctions, I have won. Oh my god! What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. Wait, how? And what did you tell him? Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. Dude, you don't this is sick. Any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. Um, well, tell me about the Gaia backup. Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Beta error, memory structures disintegrated. Dude, this is so sick. Right, because that would have been easy. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are deluded. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non viable biospheres aborted in years 254. Six one two one six eight. So that that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. Current biosphere is version five. There will be no version six. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Master override arms. Connected. State name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Extinction. Master override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. Yo! Wait, what is going on? I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, 
I've produced the results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades extinction protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. And he's told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? <laughs> just to confirm, Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. Restore control over the terraforming system. Save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? <sighs> All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. I don't think you we can trust him say, at all, though. A spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. Wow. But in a situation nice. like this, nice, dude. you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. Wow, dude. <laughs> nice, man. What is this, huh? What is it? What are you, my dad, man? Huh? Hell, you think you are, bro? Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Soba. Please step inside. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? Oh, this is a... Call them fire gleam. We couldn't get through this earlier. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lasher's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Okay. Um. Special gear. Igniter. So I need a deep water kindle weed, and I need one of these things. Okay. And we got these guys over here. So let's go pop that. It's falling. Okay. So power cell. I gotta shoot it off. Ah. The machine goes down. Okay. Woo! Let's go. All right, nice and clean. Um. All right. Special gear. All right. 
Heck here. yeah. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I'd step back if I were you. Oh boy, here we go. Let's see what's inside. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. You know, it's kind of hard to do that. There's just so much happening at once. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. Door's locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. An energy cell. Here we go. Let's go ahead and stick this in here. That did it. Looks like we need another energy cell. It's probably going to be one right up this way. What was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. Where does this connect? Oh, here we go. I got another power cell. Aha! Elizabeth and Travis Tate. Oh boy! I tell you, Liz, what I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal like. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling. Then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, could love this world so damn much, but no one in it? I mean... Have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. This guy's like a real dick, man. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. Wait, I... Wait, what did we accomplish, though? Oh, this door opened. Here we go. What a game. So much attention to detail. All right. Um, we are up here. And... I mean, that's ultimately where we want to go, is up there, that way. Um, I can't make that jump.
jump. But if I glide... I knew I was supposed to do that. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Where did I? Seven, four, eight. Two. There we go. Easy. The deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident. You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? More. Please, Liz. I'm close. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan, but what if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. See, this is so good. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Thank you. Let's speak again before. Goodbye, Tilda. Goodbye, Tilda. Time to go. As if it sounded sad at the end. I think this was personal. Indeed. All right. Let's go get this. Huzzah! This has been a really cool section. I'm I'm usually not a huge fan of jump puzzles, but um, this one's been pretty fun to do. Oh my God, we made it! Okay. Here we go! So much for the fl Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Soda. Please step inside. That thing is huge. It looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Genetic profile confirmed. I feel like this is gonna be a boss. Please, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That oh, doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. All right, get prepared. This is not gonna go well. Okay, I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. Okay, and why what is there razor chains Hades on is this? Down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. I don't think it'll connect. Hades 0312, vessel corroded. Data lost. The water, it looks like it destroyed them. Data lost. All of them. You don't suppose Gaia too? Only one way to be sure. It's not exactly stable. Let's hope you haven't damaged it. Yeah, well, now that it's Come down. On. Come on, I Gaia, be able please! To that pod. Got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get worried. Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast superintelligence. It barely expected us. Root 
Colonel. No subordinate functions. It's not a full backup. No. More like a seed from which Gaia's mind could grow if it had subfunctions with which to form a heuristic matrix. So it's useless? I'm afraid so. Without subfunctions. Go! Aloy, you've done all you could. For what? Nothing? Maybe saving the world is too Why don't we just get the subfunctions? Wait, wait, wait. It's useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up? They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. No, listen. No it's gonna be conveniently here. A good one. In the Forbidden West. Works. You found Minerva, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Oh, yes, Will. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data Pulsar transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek. A genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Aloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. I don't care how powerful they are. The only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. <laughs> Greetings, Dr. Sobat. Please step inside. <laughs> Hmm. Looks promising. Beta. What the heck? What is hap? Wait. Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Wait! What is happening? Dude, those guys look like futuristic. Shit. Spectres, beta. What? Wait, what is that? Oh, why? 
great. Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Wait, yep. one's Can't enough trouble? Mm. Wait, what is happening? Sure. What the heck? What if she Yo. The pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. Bro! I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh, no hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? Yo, what is this game? This These must be the people fun. that survived. I'm not hurting him. I need a way out of here. Maybe if I can bring the whole processor down. I gotta use that console to make it drop more. <laughs> Don't need it. Now I can break the cover and pull the thing up. Go. That's not going to oh. help you, girl. It is going to help, bro. Don't we? <laughs> ah! Another one down. What are you up to? Don't worry about it, okay? Ah! Here we go. Come on, shoot at me. Not that rig. This kills all mine. Then death. <laughs> Reckon that thing ain't gonna help, girl. <laughs> Come on. Come at me. Ugh. Gotta cut the main stem. A few couplings holding it up. I need to cut them all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 ah, not the same. Uh, looks like there's two more couplings on the stem. Fight me! Come on! Dumb machine! Uh. Oh. If that thing comes down, it's only going to kill you. Better than letting you have all the fun.
What was that? Me killing what you wanted dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. Yo, this is incredible. This is so incredible. So much is happening right now. There, there's a current. It's heading for an exit. Let me let me share something with you. Okay. So, um you Elizabeth Sobeck was like the lead scientist who came up with the way uh came up with the plan for saving and preserving the earth and rebuilding it after the big like apocalypse right obviously some people survived some became like tribal people and those are the people that we've met so far you know um there was then some population that was supposed to go into space and um, live like in a, in a space colony and eventually they would go and inhabit like a new planet and that would get terraformed. We saw some of that in the beginning of the game. Now in the last game, you, this, you learn about Elizabeth Sobeck and you learn that you, your person is a creation, is a genetic clone of Elizabeth Sobeck and the machines created you as a clone and that's why you are an orphan and when you grew up you you know there's reasons why like you're a little bit smarter than others and whatnot what we just saw happen is we saw people that are either from that other planet from the space station maybe from the future i don't know but one thing that's interesting that they said in that sentence was we can't deal with another one that means there's another one of our clones around and they're familiar with it uh, a lot of unanswered questions that was so freaking cool this went fast oh, i'm spotted Now Gaia, aka I I dude, this is this is insane. This is such a cool storyline. Looks like some kind of power room. A current lead here. Promising. And and the thing is, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the woman that took that Gaia piece was one of the clones. I mean, that's what I was thinking when I saw the cutscene. Like, it looked so similar to us in so many ways, but she almost seemed, like, subservient. I... I've... 
found. Shh. It's okay. I'm here. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. The way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains Plains Song. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Worry. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zoe. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What the heck? What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. Um. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. Yeah. Lady. May I? So what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plain Song. There trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. 
Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. To the cave. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so there is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong, assemble the chorus, tell how you soothed Ray, ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. I don't need no permission. <laughs> Lightning. <me. laughs> she needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. I don't need no goddamn permission from you. She does not need you to help her heal. You could. Come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to. But I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? This is so amazing. This game is so badass. Holy cow. Okay. Well, All right, guys, let's wrap it up right here. The story has been absolutely insane. The writing, the storyline, it is so, so incredible. Um, and I'm really excited to see where things go from here. All said and done, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, let me know what you think of the story so far, and I'll see you in the next episode.